Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So, welcome to our Playwright series. In this video, we are going to talk about before writing the first script in Playwright. You remember that first script in Selenium also. We need to understand that how exactly Selenium works. What is the basic Selenium internal architecture? Same thing here in the Playwright. Here in this diagram, you can see that we have the concept of WebSocket. In terms of Selenium, a quick revision that Selenium works initially that we have to send via W3C protocol or JSON via protocol, but every request that we are sending from the test client, whatever the test that you have written, maybe in Java, JavaScript, or whatever, we are sending the request to the server in the form of HTTP request, and then we are getting a response over here. So in that case, what happens whenever the connection is established between client and the server, and the server send the response back to this particular test client and the connection is a disconnected over there for the, again second request that okay hey i want to uh, click on this particular button or i want to launch this particular url i want to pass the send keys i want to create a web element and everything so for each and every request that we have to we have to establish a connection with the selenium server over there right so that's why that if you have tomorrow 100 lines of code that you have written with a driver dot find element or driver dot get or a screenshot and everything that you have to make n number of HTTP requests and the server will respond it back but okay yeah this is the action that i have performed it means 100 times you have to establish the connection with selenium over here but in case of playwright it's slightly different in case of playwright what exactly says whatever the code that you have written maybe in terms of javascript or uh, Python or Ruby or Java, whatever that you have written, you just need to send the request to the Playwright server. And once the connection has been established or handshake connection has been established between your test and the Playwright via WebSocket, this is another protocol and which is way faster than the HTTP protocol. Why? I'll tell you. Because once the connection is established, then you can send back to back requests or the commands to the Playwright server without terminating the connection between these two entities that is the beauty of the websocket that's why the websocket is generally used for whenever you are using any trading application or let's see any uh, live application in terms of uh, bitcoin trading or bitcoin mining where you really need to establish the long-lived connection without terminating between your client and the server in that case we always uh, we prefer the websocket connection in that case for example let's see the the websocket generally we use for the chat application between uh, to uh, um, between client and server in that case right different uh, users are chatting with each other with the websocket connection so to understand the websocket you try to understand this diagram as well it's very very simple i took it from uh, google so what happens in http connection you are sending a request for example let's see this is my http request with the get call and then i'm getting the response back to the client and then immediately the connection is terminated automatically this is the property of the HTTP connection again. So let's see for example, this is my first request Then again, you have the second request that okay. Hey, I want to uh, Send the request one more time. For example, it could be a post call. It could be a delete call or any uh, Specific or typical HTTP method that you are passing and then getting the response and then the connection is again uh, Disconnected or terminated again for the third and the fourth and so on so that's why that it takes time that every request needs a separate HTTP request and the response and then the connection will be terminated. But in case of WebSocket connection, it's slightly different. In WebSocket connection, what happens once the connection has been established between these two guys, this is called handshake. Handshake means both uh, the entities are, uh, are connected and then we are sending n number of requests to this particular long live server, which is up and running all the time in the background and then uh, you just send the request to the server and then it will keep sending you the response over there but the communication is happening in the same format in a uh, playwright also the communication is happening with the json the communication media is the json thing is the selenium also the communication media is json and playwright also exactly same thing so this is how exactly it works that's why it makes it very fast because the server is actually up and running all the time you don't need to disconnect the or terminate the connection between client and the server exactly same thing that the websocket a protocol that that's why they are using it that's what it makes it very fast once this playwright server is up and running it is back to back sending the request to the playwright and once the connection is uh, established and number of things that you can pass okay fine click dot send keys or whatever i want to take the screenshot i want to launch the browser enter the url and everything once the connection is disconnected 
by either of them either the client also can disconnect or the server also can disconnect then the connection will be then only the connection will be terminated between these two entities right but here in case of selenium server when you send the request the first http request uh, to the selenium server the response back and the connection will be terminated immediately after that and again for the second request same again you have to pass the second connection and then get the response and then the connection will be terminated in that case so if you uh, see this one more diagram i have have this one so this is the web socket connection diagram that we have i take it again took it from google that this is the connection is established and uh, this is the bi-directional communication we can uh, it can happen http protocol remember is always a unidirection uh, messaging protocol and once uh, one side is closed the channel it means if client is closing the channel or server is closing the channel then the overall connection will be uh, disconnected over here and then that's why if you see this again a, a nice diagram that uh, you can use any uh, playwright client it could be python it could be ruby or it could be a java thing also and then the playwright protocol means that websocket protocol that you can use it they have created the playwright protocol by using the websocket and this is my playwrights node server which is up and running in the background and then these are the different uh, browsers that i have maybe chrome or uh, chromium or firefox or webkit or uh, safari uh, the different uh, browser vendors or uh, browser engines which are available in the market and then the request and the action will be performed on these uh, on these uh, specific uh, browsers so what is happening let's say if i have written the code in java or in python or ruby or maybe javascript so I'm sending the first time connection is established between these two guys and then the connection will never be terminated until uh, this client or the server is terminating it and then in between that you can send the request one and then get the response again you send the second request and then get the response again you send the third request and then get the response back to the client this is the way the communication is happening with the help of what with the help of WebSocket. So that's why the WebSocket is way faster than as compared to typical HTTP protocol that we are using it. And remember, just like we use it uh, HTTP, right? HTTP or HTTPS for the secured. Same thing, we have to use a WS for the WebSocket and WSS means the secured uh, WebSocket protocol connection here. That is what we are going to use it. Tomorrow, you really want to run your test cases on the remote machine. What exactly we do in Selenium? In Selenium, we pass HTTPS then we say okay remote web driver and we have to pass the hub url and the desired capability so here we have to pass a wss uh, remote side url let's say tomorrow you're running on selenoid or moon or any other or uh, uh, cloud machine in that case we have to pass a websocket connection where exactly the playwright is getting connected over there on the basis of that we will see okay programmatically how to do that so this is the basic difference between a websocket and the https uh, protocol or HTTP protocol so HTTP protocol is slower so no doubt about it that uh, just because of WebSocket it makes it very very fast as compared to Selenium or any other automation tool which are based on HTTP request so that is the great thing that they have uh, done and then uh, same thing you can just uh, keep this thing over here also same uh, action is getting performed on the different browser but request by request but here what is happening here here is slightly different here it's like when the connection has been established now you can send all the requests back to back on a specific a browser vendor that's why the playwright is way faster than selenium in that case so this is the basic other architecture and the communication between and the test and the playwright or test between selenium server or playwright server everything is happening through the json bio protocol here you can see this is my script and here you can see that playwright dot firefox dot launch here exactly the launch method will decide the connection the first it will uh, start the server so playwright dot create it will start the playwright server and then the connection uh, will be established with your browser client so that is the launch method that they have given and inside the launch method if you see that which exactly launch uh, option that you want to pass and if you go to the launch implementation over here this is the internal uh, code of uh, playwright and then you can see that yeah that is a connection that is uh, getting created and sorry this is the send message that i'm passing uh, to the server and the connection dot send message and this is the code you can see that uh, until the send message async method and then internal send message is getting called over here so this is again the json 
object that we are passing and then we are getting the response in the same JSON object only but uh, here you can see that this is a result that we are getting in the form of uh, uh, variable uh, JSON element only you don't need to understand this this is just for your reference that how exactly internally it is working so internally it is still using uh, JSON for the communication media but the communication is happening via WebSocket protocol instead of HTTP protocol so I hope this is clear now because when you understand these things when you understand that how exactly uh, the architecture of web uh, playwright in terms of uh, client and server architecture then only you will understand that how exactly we have to write the code and how exactly playwright is working internally just like we did with uh, selenium as well very interesting tool guys a lot of good things to cover and uh, we will continue with the playwright series in the next session i'll tell you how to write the first code in playwright and then uh, we will see some amazing features in playwright till then take care please subscribe to the channel share this video as much as uh, with your friends and uh, other colleagues if they are looking for the playwright it's very interesting tool i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all